Hi guys, this project is supposed to be about making a radio controlled love light. Um, at least that's what this is called, love light, or love light up LED sign from Poundland. And all I'm gonna do is mount it on the chassis of a radio controlled car so we can drive it around. But, I've had a look for a suitable donor, I found this car, and it has an interesting problem, we'll call it, and it fits in neatly to a question I received on my uh, Facebook channel, I think it was, from somebody who bought some radio controlled cars for Christmas for his children, and they enjoyed playing with them, but after a while they would hardly turn left or right. And this one is exactly the same. So I thought it'd be handy to cover it in the video. So if I put some batteries in it, um, yeah, these batteries are fairly good. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. So if I put them in and we put it on the floor, it's one of these ones I've got to use a random controller on. So we put it on the floor and watch it going. Right, for a start the range isn't very good, but that's probably because they're not matching transmitter and receiver. But, I don't know if you can see, but even at this distance, we can see it's not doing a very tight left and right turn. Right, I'm giving it full right, and the wheels are hardly turning. It's alright once it's got up a bit of turn momentum, the wheels sort of turn themselves in anyway. But they really are struggling to get the good turn on them. And that's down to them not having much power, or the batteries. Even though they're fairly fresh batteries, they're not absolutely fresh. And most of the power is going to the drive motor and not much going to the steering motor and it just simply has trouble doing the full turn. It really isn't turning very far. Sometimes you have to double click it to get them to go over. So the answer to that one is absolutely fresh batteries and it's okay but as soon as they start to run down we start to lose the steering. So what's the fix? Well the obvious fix is only use absolutely fresh batteries and good quality um, alkali batteries rather than zinc carbon batteries to get the absolute maximum power. Or you can do one of those changes that people keep asking me for, which is a LiPo battery instead. Or I suppose the lithium ion batteries. Now, basic problem. LiPo batteries come in 3.7 volts, 7.4 volts, 11.1 volts. They're in multiples of 3.7. This one takes three AA batteries, so it's expecting 4.5 volts. So you either go for one, a 1S LiPo battery, which is 3.7 volts, so it's lower voltage, or you go all the way up to 7.4 volts and you're getting close to double the voltage. So if you go up, you'll probably burn something out on the receiver. And if you go down, you might not have enough power. However, the other difference between a LiPo battery and a normal non-rechargeable battery is the LiPo battery will supply more current. So even though it's got lower voltage, it might be giving you a better current rating. I tend to burn 
the receivers out, or at least the H bridge on them, because although the voltage is right, it's able to supply more current. So if the motor gets stuck maybe in the long grass or you've got it jammed up against a wall or something, the motor tries to draw more current and a LiPo battery gives it more current and that burns out the H bridge. So what I'm going to do here is a single small LiPo battery. I've made up a lead here couple of bits of plastic with metal caps on the end, well that's a screw and that's a cap with a screw, and I've made them the right length to replace the out two, outside two batteries. So we can plug it straight in, we'll be running it on less voltage but potentially more current, even though that's a tiny little LiPo. So, first thing you need to work out is which is the contacts that go down to the receiver. And you can usually make out, I don't know if we can see there, there's a silver link between those two contacts. And there's a silver link, or a shiny link, between those two contacts. So, that's where we start. Through there, linked across to there, through there, linked across to there, to there. So that one is labelled as our negative, that one's labelled as our positive. I've coloured these in so I can see them. Positive, negative, and conveniently, because this one's a pickup truck, that can just sit in there, out the way. In fact, do it that way. And now, We've got a LiPo powered truck, except one of those batteries just fell out. Let's get that back in. Obviously we could put the cover back on to hold it in place. So we'll try that on the floor. And you should see an improvement in the steering. We'll start off close up just so you can see we've got the full range of steering now. So we've got nice full right, full left. The only thing is, I've already found out, because it's got more power, it's sliding a bit more. Well, that's a little bit awkward, that. We've cured the problem, but we've added to the problem because it's now got more power and it's sliding. I don't know if you could see, it was on full lock, but it was still going forwards. But as far as the question about why the car wasn't turning so much after a few days' use, it's the battery power. Probably. Could just be hair and dust on the wheels, but battery power does it for me. Because the fix there would be to add a bit of weight to it. I expect that battery is a little bit lighter than those three. Yeah, so a little bit more weight and it probably wouldn't slide quite so much. Anyway, so that's that. That's a quick LiPo swap. What we'll do now is just take the top off and see if we can fit Love on top for a Valentine treat. Because I suppose you could put that on a trailer instead and put chocolates on there, but that's not what I'm going to do. Better. So we've got fancy little plastic bits sticking up the side. So 
could just sit like that. It's hardly a technical modification. But it would do the job. I can use my favourite, a bit of blue tack to hold it in place. So there we go, an incredibly difficult technical modification. Just took the body shell off, a bit of um, blue tack to hold it all in place. So backwards, forwards. So there we go, radio controlled love. No idea why you'd want to do that, but we've done it. Job done. Plus we've covered a LiPo conversion and why the turning wasn't very tight on the original car.